Have you ever thought of the changes in the properties of materials when exposed to different temperature? Or what happens to a material when it is heated or when it is cooled? The answers are present in this video. Ang mga misteryo sa mundo'y aaralin Ang aghang o siyensya ay katulong natin Mga pangyayari sa ating paligid Karunungan na base sa katotokanan Mga eksperimento sa siyensya ay panalo Sa oras ng pandemya, dapat pa rin matuto Teacher Kaloy, ang katulong We already know that the three forms of matter are solid, liquid, and gas. At ang pagbabago ng anyo o ng state of matter ay dahil sa pagbabago ng temperature. Maaaring ito ay naiinitan o nalalamigan. Oops! Bago tayo tumuloy sa changes in the properties of materials when exposed to different temperature, let us first remember the things we need to follow when doing an experiment. Be careful in doing the activity. Do the activity with the presence of an adult. Do not play with the fire. I think we are safe to perform the experiment now. Let's start. You are seeing now a butter placed in the pan. Observe carefully. What happens with the butter after being exposed to heat? Huwag kalimutang isulat ang mga mahalagang pagbabago na inyong napansin. Bukan din natin ang parehas na proseso gamit ang mga karayolang ito sa ilalim ng araw. Observe carefully the changes and do not forget to write it. Now, let us try to answer the question, what are the changes in the properties of material when exposed to heat? We have observed that the materials such as crayons and butter change its form from solid to liquid when heated. It also changed its size, shape, and texture. Ngayon, Ilagay naman natin ang mga tunaw na butter at crayon sa yellow. Let's see what happens to a mother when placed into a lower temperature. We have observed that the materials change back its form from liquid to solid when exposed to lower temperature. It also changed its size, shape, and texture. Ang mga pagbabagong ito ay dahil sa pagbabago ng mga galaw ng molecules ng isang material. Ang dikit-dikit na molecules ng isang solid material ay maaaring maghiwahiwalay kapag ito ay nainitan na dahilan para ito ay maging isang liquid. Ang isa pang halimbawa ay ang tubig o liquid na nasa 25 degrees Celsius. Ang molecules nito ay mas hiwahiwalay, ngunit kapag ito ay ilalagay sa mas malamig o mas mababang temperatura, ang molecules nito ay muling magdidikit-dikit dahilan para ito ay maging isang solid o yelo. Now, let us summarize what we have learned from this video. When the materials are exposed to different temperature, they change their size, shape, and texture. They also change their forms. 
When heated, solid materials change to liquid. When cooled, the liquid materials change to solid. Great job! Now, let us try to answer these questions. It's a great chance to learn with you. See you on my next video!